Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's DeckFam and yeah, I know I haven't posted in a minute but look, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the new Premium Warbond in Helldivers 2 probably by the end of tomorrow but for now there is a new gameplay trailer for Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 which I am extremely excited for and I wanted to share my reaction with you guys so let's check what this game is all about because honestly I think this will be the better Helldivers 2. <laughs> Welcome to Space Marine 2. The look they even looked like Helldivers. Newest installment in the Warhammer 40,000 franchise. Brought to you by Saber Interactive and Focus Entertainment. This is a very dope visual to have three space marines just dropping on a mission. Oh my god. And you can already see that this is going to be some customizable ass shit. Because, I mean, look at them. They all have different helmets and stuff. And their shoulder pads are different. But they'll probably get into that. I'm Oliver Hollis Lake, creative director on the project. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of the game's story. Wow, okay, the graphics look pretty freaking awesome. Game modes, progression, and a whole lot. No, 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 no. This dude in space, he is in literal space right there. Wow. And you know, my biggest beef with Helldivers 2 or... Okay, it's not the only one, but one of my biggest problems with Helldivers 2 has always been the lack of diversity as it comes to different biomes and stuff like this. So maybe this will be a very big part of Warhammer 40k. What more? Giving you a taste of what's to come when the game releases on September 9th. Space Marine 2 is a third-person action shooter set in the grim, dark universe of Warhammer 40,000. The game's campaign mode allows you to experience this epic story either solo or with up to three players in co-op. Up to three players in co-op. That's again some Destiny stuff right there. Space Marine 2's story begins a century after the events of the first game. Captain Demetrian Titus is a genetically enhanced super soldier and hero of the Ultramarines. Wow. Check out the settings and the bugs. Captain Demetrian Titus is a genetically enhanced. Look at how many bugs there are on screen just flying there. Super soldier and hero of the Ultramarines. We will eradicate your kind from the galaxy. Titus has returned to the Ultramarines. You're a lieutenant now. Where he is demoted to <laughs> lieutenant. Will that be a problem? <laughs> you know, I heard you're left-handed now. <laughs> like, yo, you cannot be right-handed no more, bro. That's it. That was done. No, Captain. And forced to prove his loyalty in the heat of battle. On a distant world, he must face one oh, of humanity's that was cool. most fearsome adversaries. The Tyranids. As you take control of Titus and his fellow battle brothers, Chiron and Gadriel, you'll okay. be thrown into the thick of- You already can feel the testosterone seeping through the screen, and I'm with it, bro. ...the war of galactic proportions. Thanks to our unique swarm technology, allowing us to render hundreds of real enemies on screen at the same time. Wow! So all of the things on screen are like, you can shoot at them. Every single bug on the screen you can shoot at. That's crazy. That's wild. And again, look at his right arm with the knife in the hand and just the chain around the, around the forearm. I bet this is part of the customization. Hundreds of real enemies on screen at the same time. You'll face seemingly endless waves of crawling, running, and swooping enemies as far as the eye can see. You must repel a Tyranid invasion and rid the system of the Xenos threat, battling in the claustrophobic jungles of Kodaku, okay. the majestic planet-spanning metropolis of Avarax, okay. and other epic locations. And look, you're going to be able to play through all of this with a team of two more people? 
Oh, okay, that's that's exciting. Wow, After did you see this? successful mission, you'll return to the Battle Barge, a space fortress serving as the Ultramarine's orbital headquarters. Here, you can gather crucial intel by interacting with onboard personnel, review your next targets, and tailor your loadout to your... Wait, wait, wait. This reminds me an awful lot of Destiny 2. Just this entire screen and you click on the planet Review your next targets. and you pick a mission. I am willing to bet all of these will just be endlessly replayable. And tailor your loadout to your upcoming mission. Whoa! The hammer! Whether you prefer close combat or ranged warfare, the Ultramarine's wide range... I mean, come on! ...range of equipment offers you an array of devastating weapons and unique special abilities. Sheesh! A balanced approach is certainly wise, since performing a brutal melee finisher replenishes your armor and keeps you in the fight for longer. Okay, that makes sense. Shred the enemies of human... So this, the difficulty in this game seems to be based around the amount of enemies on screen instead of how difficult it is to fight the actual enemies, which, you know, it's a give and take of how you want to balance the game, but possibly this will make for a more fun gameplay experience. Humanity with the iconic chainsword, liquefy them with the melter rifle, or crush them with the sword. <laughs> Liquid. Yo, how the how the how the f you call this a rifle? In what way is this a rifle, dog? This is a freaking grenade launcher. Fire them with the melter rifle. Whoa! Or crush them with the mighty thunder hammer. Yeah! How you vanquish the Tyranid invaders is entirely that's up so to you. dope. Your duty that's so dope. Done. Beyond the story campaign, you'll find operations mode here. Okay, let's review. Beyond the story campaign, you'll find So you grab your friends, go to the go to the social space. Operations mode. This is pretty much like Vanguard Strikes in Destiny 2. You can just click a random one. This is one thing about the trailer that has me concerned. We've only seen internet enemies, and I really wish there's at least two, maybe three, please, pretty please, maybe three enemy races. But considering the enemy presence uh, thing on screen, I would presume and I would hope there is more than one enemy race. Risk factor, obviously, that's going to be the difficulty. Um, okay, so in terms of objectives, also we can see that there's an objective to slay a boss, which is cool, and deploy charges on the bridge supports. I would presume this is a king of the hill type of mechanic where you need to hold out a spot until they arm or something like this. So you have a couple of objectives per map, which is also pretty cool because they'll be different. It won't be the same objective throughout the whole map, just different points of it, which I'm interested by. And as you can see, at least by the, the shot of it all, this seems to be in a city, which is going to be very interesting. And it's going to keep things entertaining and new for the game. Here, the focus is on cooperation and That's such a dope shot. Come on. Play as one of six classes with you. No, 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 no. Six classes, okay. Play as one of six. So we have the tactical, which is pretty much going to be your regular schmegler, like all rounder. You have the assault, which seems to be kind of like. You know in League of Legends when a tank has a lot of HP but also a lot of damage? A Juggernaut. He seems to be the Juggernaut of the group. The Vanguard, he has, he has a grappling hook and a knife. So maybe that's going to be a close range assassin type character. Bulwark, that's just your regular Schmegler tank. You have the Sniper. Which, I mean, we already know what a sniper is going to do. And we have the heavy, which is just huge, deeps, big chungus armor. I'm with it. Six classes with unique skills and abilities. Whoa! Whoa! Stop! 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 stop, stop. With unique skills and abilities. Yo! Yo, 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 yo! Six classes with unique skills and abilities. Come on! Come on! Wow! Wow, just look at this. I am I am investing heavily into this game. 
And as far as I remember, I've seen a lot of posts about the developers promising us that there won't be any, you know, super offensive microtransactions and most of the stuff or all of the stuff even will be earnable in game. And if that's the case, holy, come on. Wow. Wow. That looks incredible. Is the Emperor. You, you, what? <laughs> this is like the Roman Empire in the freaking 25th century or something, or the, well, obviously the 40th century, but wow. Then develop and cut unique skills and abilities. The Emperor provides. That's so many options. That's an incredible, hefty amount of options there. Then develop and custom. And you can choose different shaders as well. Okay, so you can individually choose your different pads. You can, you can, wow. So you can choose individual pads for your shoulders. You can choose a breastplate and a different backpack. The war gear, I think that's going to be basically the belt. You can individually choose your gauntlets and legs too. So you can pretty much be a mishmash of everything. That's just dope. Customize them to make them your own. Whether you prefer no, then no. develop and customize you can, them to make them your own. You can customize the emblems too. Wow, stop it. Whether you prefer the, the sniper. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this looks incredible. Sniper's stealth cloak and long range capabilities. The Vanguard's grapple. Wow. No launcher. Or the bulwark. Wow. Chapter wow. Storm shield combination. Okay. So the bulwark is indeed a tank with, with support capabilities. Will be decisive on the battlefield. In specialty. A long chapter banner and the vanguards grapnel launcher. Or the bulwarks. Look at this frame and tell me you do not want to play this game. I will not believe you. It's impossible you look at this and you say to yourself, nah, I'll pass. It's impossible. I just will not believe you if you tell me, I'm good, bro. It's, it cannot happen. Okay, so it seems they only have one ability and the ability for the bulwark is chapter banner. Restore armor to all squad members in the area of effect. That's cool, so it's a support tank build. Actually, they previewed another class. Let's check out their abilities. Abilities. The Vanguard. So the Vanguard Grapno Launcher, we already saw that in action. It does look incredible. It's Grapno Launcher. They'll develop and customize them to make them your own. Whether you prefer the Sniper. So the Sniper, of course, the Sniper has a camo cloak. And that's until your next attack. That's interesting. So you can basically stealth around in the missions. That's dope. Sure. Or the Bulwarks, Chapter Banner and Storm Shield combination. Your Space Marine specialty, along with those of your squad mates. And I mean, come on, it has a comprehensive melee system too? Will be decisive on the battlefield. Look at this frame. This is as if, if Star Wars and the Roman Empire had a baby. The more missions you play, the That's dope. The more you'll unlock cos- That's incredible. Cosmetics for your space marine. The more missions you play, the more you'll unlock cosmetics for your space marine. No, dude, with a mohawk. XP and armory data that you can spend in. The okay, so you have a bunch of passive abilities too, to upgrade your character. So it's pretty much like, yeah, I see a lot of similarities. It's basically as if Destiny Two. And Helldivers 2 had a baby. Wow. The Battle Barge's armory to unlock. Okay. XP and armory data. That let's let's be super careful about what happens here. You can spend. So all squad members deal 50% more gun strike damage. So that's basically weapon damage. In the Battle Barge's armory. All of the weapons will have tiers in a tier system, obviously. And basically. I mean, I think this is only going to be passive and maybe some visual stuff will get upgraded too. 
let's let's give it to the team that are making this game. This looks ridiculously cool. But yeah, as you can see, you have a standard tier, master crafted. What is this? Art Artificer? and then a relic tier, so it's kind of like an exotic, because it even follows the standard white, green, purple for legendary, and orange-ish, golden-ish for exotic. Yeah, it takes a lot of inspiration from Destiny 2, but also in the top right, you can see it's pretty much like samples in Helldivers 2. I'm telling you, this is just a combination of the best parts about Helldivers and Destiny. To unlock new class perks and improve, you can oh, spend you the have battle a battle you have a second just armory to unlock new class okay so you have a perk tree for the weapons as well wow that's cool and of course obviously these are just you know small passives that add up over time perks and improve your armaments performance that was such a dope screen eternal war demands eternal discipline if you're into more competitive challenges well then you're in for a treat Enter the fray in our eternal war mode, where you'll be able to pit yourselves against other players. Wow! Six space marines clash against six of their sworn... Okay, look, I, I am not a big fan of PvP. Personally, I enjoy PvE more because I like to turn off my brain. But look at dude on the left, though. Yeah, I may have to play this. Even the dude in the middle with this helm looks... Carry chaos adversaries in arenas inspired by the game's rich settings. Choose your preferred rule set, be it the intense annihilation deathmatch, strategic seize ground. Okay, so we have the regular Schmegler deathmatch and capture the point, or as I call it, King of the Hill, because that's how I'm used to calling it from Gears of War. But yeah, uh, I'm I'm here. I'm here for this. And look at the background of the city too. Or the exhilarating capture and control. Then engage in adrenaline pumping matches that will test your skills against players from across the world. Each skirmish offers you the chance to earn more XP and add more weapons to your arsenal. <laughs> oh my god! So the heavy class pretty much has a personal shield. It can shoot its machine gun out of the shield as you prove your valor on the battlefield that's all just a taste what yo check this check this there's a mech suit too bro look at you go that's all just a taste of what is to come we can't wait for you to experience the passion oh and my care that our God. teams have poured into this game. Yeah, I can see the passion in here. More surprises in store for you to be revealed very soon. Oh shit! No! Stop it! Okay, guys. This is going to be my next main game, even though Destiny 2 right now is super fire and I'm working on a video about it and I'm going to try to upload it soon. I know it's been three weeks, but there's just so many things to talk about and I spent a week just playing it because there was so much content. But Look at... Wow, did you see... Did we watch the same trailer? Holy... That's incredible. Yeah, I'm with it. Did we even watch the same trailer? I am absolutely 100% here for it. I'm here for all parts of this. I cannot wait for this game to come out. I'm definitely maining it on my channel and otherwise. This is going to be awesome. I hope, I am praying they do not muck it up. If they don't muck it up, this is the next big... If they don't muck it up, this is the next big thing for sure. But yeah, it seems that was about it, guys. Pre-order the standard, gold or ultra editions and defend humanity on September 9th. When of course, there's three different editions. Eh, that's, that's normal. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 launches on PlayStation 5. It's going to have seasons, so that was expected. For the early unlock, I might need to, I might need to get it. Yeah, I'm definitely pre-ordering. I'm playing this game, bro.
there's there's no way around it. I'm playing this freaking game, but yeah, it's gonna be dope. Xbox Series and PC. Yeah, so uh, this is going to be awesome, and I am going to be a Space Marine legionary freaking Star Wars character in fighting bugs. And that's what I want. This game, at least judging from this trailer, is giving me the things I want in a game. I want testosterone, I want spaceships, and I want Roman Empire stuff. It's hitting every single box. So let's see what happens. But yeah, I'm super hopeful. Tell me what do you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.